Welcome back everyone, and today I have got a request. Oh, well, I'm filling a request that someone gave to me, but um, a while ago I was asked why do I use the blockade over the antagonist and why do I use the parts that I use on it. So that's the topic for today's video, is my blockade. I guess I'm going to start with blo the blockade versus the antagonist before I go into parts. Um, as you see here, I never really realized this now, they actually have the exact same capacity. Um, the antagonist here has a better recharge rate, or the blockade's got the better recharge rate, but a worse delay. And the blockade just has a flat damage reduction. The antagonist, I gotta admit, it's one of my... Th I probably like it more than the blockade, I just don't find it as effective for Maya. Um, the antagonist has a really solid capacity, a solid recharge delay rate, a solid delay and rate, I should say. Um, it's got a very good, the deflection chance at 50% is great. The bullet, deflected bullet damage at 880% is fantastic. And then you have damage reduction as well. All in all, it's a fantastic shield. You get so much out of it. And it's a good shield. I'm actually going to focus on that right here. Let's see. Relics, class mods, shields. Okay. So the antagonist here, probably the most feature-rich uh, shield in the game. Between the deflection chance, the increased damage, the damage reduction, and launches slag balls at enemies that attack you. It can do a lot. So this thing is not only a good shield, but it gives you uh, basically free extra DPS between the slag and the deflection. So it's both offensive and defensive. But it's a good shield. If you compare the antagonist to the sham here, Look at that capacity difference. 1.9 million versus 600,000. Um, the rate the rate compared to the capacity is not great. Um, but you also have a better recharge delay than the sham. And the sham doesn't have a bad one. And then you go down to the B once again. The B's recharge delay is terrible. The capacity is terrible. It only has a nice recharge rate. Um, Love Thumper, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's kind of those two are like, I say the the B and the Sham are some of the big ones. But then you get the Antagonist, which has a damn good stat line on top of a full uh, feature rich shield. So why do I use the blockade instead of all of that? I used to switch these shields around. So on bullet heavy maps, I would wear the blockade. And, or sorry, <laughs> on bully heavy, bullet heavy maps, there we go, I can talk again. I would wear the antagonist. On creature heavy maps, or tiny Tina maps, non bullet heavy maps, I would wear the blockade. And then I just kind of stopped switching them, and I realized the blockade is just a little bit better. Um, with Maya, I didn't need the slag from the antagonist. I've got a ton of slag. On other characters I think that's a little bit more important. Uh, the free slag on other characters is huge, but Maya doesn't notice it much. The bullet deflection was cool, but... I mean... the blockade just... it does better. There's so much damage out there that isn't bullets. Uh, dot damage for one. Uh, grenades, melee attacks, launchers, splash damage. There's so many just non, non bullet attacks in the game that I just was safer with the blockade than the antagonist. Not by a long stretch, but just by a little bit. And if you're Maya with kinetic reflection, you know you kind of get that bullet reflection. Although the antagonist with the 880% damage is a little cooler. But stacking those is really awesome, because then enemies just have no chance of getting to you. 
But like I said, the blockade for me just was a little more consistent, and as you can see here, the stat comparison, the much better recharge rate, at least on my blockade here, the same capacity. Um, the delay was kind of canceled out by Ward and Inertia, and then, um, yeah, it's that, that damage resistance just makes the blockade so damn tanky. So that's why I went with the blockade. Now, on the blockade parts, there's a few different ones you can go for. So this is the main blockade you see, I think, most people going after here. This is your Hyperion. Uh, it's all Hyperion blockade. Where is it that one? Damn it, I forgot the parts. Is that Dollar Hyperion? Eek, I don't remember. <laughs> so these, one of these is all Dollar, one of these is all Hyperion. I'm uh, drawing a blank. I'm bad with shield parts. I never really look at them that much. But uh, both of these have, you know, quicker delays, but quite a bit smaller capacity. Uh, this one here is actually pretty nice. I think this was the standard one that I was used to seeing. A lot of people go after with a minimal recharge delay. But you can see it's got about six, five, six hundred thousand less capacity, which matters. And it's also got a much ch slower recharge rate. The the one I use, I should say, is this is all Bandit. And the reason I went with this one, I kind of figured out a little... Uh, Kind of like a DPS formula, but for shields, I went with a SPS, shield per second, you could say. And I realized that this one works the best for me. I was trying a lot of blockades. I'm like, do I want minimum recharge delay? Do I want maximum capacity? And I realized that I kind of wanted an all-rounded one. And one of the big numbers here, and it's not always the number people think of it, it's that recharge rate. So you look at this one, 256,000, 175, and 272. And the Bandit's got 418. So once that recharge delay kicks in, this one, Bandit one, fills up so much faster. But also it's got more capacity than these other two. But not, it's got a lot less capacity than this one. The capacity in the Alt Pangolin is massive, but 175 on the recharge rate, combined with that delay, really killed it for me. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys some examples. So, I do always, I expect out of everything for this, I do always run out of 10 out of 5 ward with my comm. So here you see 2.8 million, the capacity here. Let's see if that dot kills it. Don't kill me dot. So you see with ward how fast that comes back and recharges. Now I'm going to put on the pangolin one. Let that charge up all the way. I should have been my med vendor to uh, make sure I don't kill myself with its dot. Alright. You see how slow that's recharging? So what I ran into this one is, as this is recharging and taking forever, I had to get hit again. And then as I got hit again, it would take a long time to start up again. And it would take a long time to reload. So this shield was never or rarely getting back to full capacity. I mean, just look how long this is taking. So although that was huge and it can take a lot of damage, you can see it take a full slow hand shot and survive it. And that's great. I and mean, this thing can actually tank like a Hyperius Nova. But uh, it just takes so damn long to get it back that uh, I really didn't find it that good. Now you have these quick ones. Now this is the fastest of them. That health should be fine. Is that going to kill it? I'll wait for it to come back a little bit. There we go. I didn't take a dot. So you see the recharge delay combined with 10 out of 5 ward is nuts on that. It comes back right away. 
and technically that sounds awesome and the capacity is actually pretty close at 232.3 million compared to my bandit here at 2.8 million but that bandit one just kicks in not that much slower and when it kicks in it just kicks in so fast and Maya doesn't have any rate help. So that's why I went with the Bandit 1. It was kind of a good mixture of all the stats. It recharges plenty fast for me. But when it recharges, it fills up the fastest. And it's got kind of a medium capacity. Which also helps, because you do want a bigger tanky shield. And at almost 3 million, that's quite a bit on a shield. I know I can... uh heal these guys. But I don't think it does damage to heal me. So that's uh, why I went with the blockade that I went with. Uh, and I hope that makes sense to people. Um, it's it's about looking at all the stats and not just one stat. Not just delay. Not just capacity. It's kind of looking at all three together. And also keep in mind this is with my build and with Maya. And a big part of that is like I said, 10 out of 5 ward, or sorry, usually it's 9 out of 5, because I have 1 in Accelerate, and I don't usually go in this, so I'm just going to get down here. But then I also have Inertia. So as I kill enemies, my shield starts regenerating. So with Inertia and ward combined, with also the fact that Maya's got Phase Lock and Converge, which I'm also... When you do that, you're usually giving yourself a few seconds of safety, not just from the enemy phase locked, that's more than a few seconds, but the enemies on the ground getting pulled in get stunned. So you kind of get enough time with that stun to... Let's see. You saw how little time that was from when the dot ended to it recharging. That's enough time for the shield to kick in just on a phase lock. So it's about not the best delay, but a fast enough delay combined with the skills and the other stats. And that was, once again, my choice. So, you know, if I was zero, I'd probably just go with a faster one. Or, I mean, zero, I'd probably go with the antagonist, to be honest, because zero doesn't have a lot of slag options. And the antagonist is really going to help that. But also the bullets that bounce off count as your bullets. So those bullets can board, and you can get some crazy stupid things with that. So the antagonist on a character like Zero, I definitely think, is way better. His only shield help is really grim. And obviously the deception time. Um, he doesn't have something like Ward, where Maya does. Although he does have inertia, like, uh, skill grim. So it really depends on your character. You know, Axton has a ton of shield skills. And... I Axton's got shield recharge rate buffs too, I believe. So with Axton, you might actually be better off with the Pangolin one. So it's it really depends on who you're playing, what your spec is, what your build is, for what the best shield for you is, your character is, I guess. And, uh, you know, that's the main thing. It, it doesn't mean this is the best choice of shield for everyone, for every build, even for every Maya build. <clears throat> it's not the right choice. You know, if I was running more of a trickster build, I might go the antagonist, because uh, the bullets that come off do count as your bullets. So you can get chain reaction, but they also work well with life tap. So that's another thing to... Uh, you will think of. So that is uh, my shield choice. I hope it made sense to you guys, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. If you have any other requests or comments you have you want me to make a quick video on, let me know, and I will try to squeeze that in in between all the other stuff I'm doing. See you guys later. Bye.